Welcome back, guys, to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where last episode, after taking on the quest of a Tenno school, Teach Me a Lesson 1 and 2, we earned the right to grow crops within Uma's garden, leaving some carrots behind to seed. After then photographing a choo-choo for the dye shop, we returned to the depths and defeated a blue-white frox as we head towards another marked treasure. It's a lot of bats hanging out over there. Right, so we are going this way. Basically back the way we just fell down from. It's too bad you can't cast reverse time on yourself. <laughs> and just go... Fly all the way up. That'd be nice. To be honest, I'd say RX is right down here. So I'm not missing much from missing the height. Get there in no time at all. Oh, I do wonder if there's a light route round. Pepper Canyon Mine. And within it. Sea Breeze Boomerang. A boomerang said to have been used by a hero who traveled the Great Sea. It smells faintly of salt water. Not another weapon. <laughs> no. I have to build another weapon storage facility now. <laughs> Why'd you do this to me? <laughs> oh, I've got, got good. Right, so. Next mission. Next plan. Next plan is the stars in the sky, because the stars in the sky equal stars in the sky. And those are my targets. I don't think- I think I'd have to, like, buy another whole weapon room. I think I've already reached the cap again. Because <laughs> I built, like, what's it? A shield room for Daybreaker, and it's like, but... I'm only gonna put one shield there. It's like a bow room for the retail boats, but, but you've only got one bow to put there. There's a cork on the top of this land, and apart from that, I'm freezing to death. Preferable not to freeze. I guess I'll change legs and... Body, then? I think that will be fine. Oh, I haven't even got my cork helmet on. So the star-shaped island is down there. So it's lower than this point. But equally, we can just straight up get higher as well. And it should actually poop us out the top if I'm right. Not an elegant way of saying it for certain, but... Poop out we will. And where was this core rock that we saw? Because we could just walk back after jumping off. I thought it was in this corner, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it is. Oh, there's also just a treasure chest here. A Zonite bow. Yep. Yeah. No, no, go again. <laughs> okay, I did manage to examine it. Now, can we just get round the front again? Without having to walk back. Something tells me we probably can. And then we can fly our way over to the nice island. Take our picture and be done with it. Because we've got, I think we've got five pictures of skywritings currently, which I... Means we need another seven? If I'm right in saying. Seven will do me. May as well just go back in for the front door. Oh, I can't go in from up here. <laughs> And up we go. That's where I'm going to hit my head or something. And off we go. Where is it? I'm too high up now. Can't even see my target. Oh, there it is. Hopefully I've still got enough stamina. I'm keeping up a nice continuous glide.
It tells me this will be one that falls from the sky again. And crack. Oh, I didn't go crack. It's a nice tablet. All right, so that should put us at six. Okay, let's remove this star. Our next one is over here, which isn't far from another shrine. So let's try to get the uh, sky writings all picked up for this episode. To be honest, what would be a good idea is actually going to a Satori tree, initiating it so I can see all caves while I'm in the sky, and then hitting up new caves that we haven't been to would be pretty good too. Uh, where are we looking? Out that way. Is it higher up or lower down? I don't know. It's above the chasm. I'm looking in the right direction. So wait a second, it's uh Above the chasm It's down there Well to be honest may as well just launch myself and go towards it and see where it is based on that. Oh now I see it! What the hell? <gasps> I couldn't see that for the life of me! Maybe there was a cloud going over it? Trying to give myself excuses now. There's definitely tunnels or caves in the Heber region, or just the cold regions that we need to go to, because we've got one part of a set in that area that's obviously going to mean there's multiple parts of a set there. So we need to catch them all. I don't know if I've got a picture of a seagull yet. Weirdly. What is it? A something seagull? A cloud seagull? That's a, the best picture of a cloud seagull you could ever take. Crunch. <laughs> I still managed to get it, yeah! <laughs> that was like the last second. Is that gonna fall into the chasm? Oh my goodness! Cool, this is interesting. Have I been down the chasm yet? No? Oh, oh, let's follow it. Is it going in? Is it going to hit the edge? Oh, no, it went in. Wait, I don't even know where it is. Okay, no one there. Okay. <laughs> this is the Drennan Highlands chasm. Oh, there, we just saw it hit. I wonder if it killed anyone. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of pose here. Yeah. There's a frox. <laughs> of course there's a frox. <laughs> yeah. Good. Roxas like to hang out near the entrances to Chasm. Some history lost forever. Well, I took a picture of it. Not like no one else can come down here. I mean, it'd be incredibly troublesome, but... All right, we should probably hit that light route then, just so we have... a true marker of underground that, yes, we have been there. The only issue is we are going through an obsidian Frox. So, is this the strongest version? <laughs> do 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 do. Okay, I was gonna try to throw a bomb, but you sucked really hard. 
Bad I actually got the hit on one of them. Maybe it's weaker than the white blue one. I don't even know. No, my weapon. That's not very good. Whee! What are you doing? I'm going to check a bomb in there. <laughs> it works. Bad idea by Frox Guy to open his mouth, like, gut it wide like that. Oh, there goes my spiked iron ball and hammer. Oh my goodness, I forgot. I was, I was stuck in an attack animation. I was trying to bring out my bow the whole time. <laughs> oh my god, how many jumps do you do? So I have no clue what the ordering of this is, but I'd say an obsidian frox looks to be weaker than a white blue frox? I know, I was using more heavy duty weapons on its back, is how I'd put it. Oh, obsidian sounds better. It's just that, okay. Obsidian frog's fang. Well, I guess I could find out by the power of the fang. That would have made that, that makes sense. Alright, extra 20 of the goods. Well, I can't quite leave the area yet. I want to get the light route. But that is also a Yiga encampment. Which means I can get myself another schematic. So the depths does have a lot more in it that is way more interesting than light routes themselves. Uh, I was gonna say, you're a stabilizer. <laughs> okay. I'm not even wearing my best gear down here when I think about it. <laughs> Somehow I didn't think that would hit me. I thought it would just kind of fly past me in a beautiful... High five fashion. Dick. Stop that. <laughs> this guy seems to be an incredibly good shot. I'm coming for you now. Oh my goodness. There we go. Nice base. Shame if someone were to take your cannon based vehicle. the Colosseum ruins on the surface, an imposing building similar to that Colosseum has been discovered. There are reports that as many as six such structures exist in the depths. There's one in the deepest depths below the Cork Forest near here. 
There are rumors of eerie growls coming from inside. A courageous team member went to test their metal, but we haven't heard from them in quite a while. We hope they're safe. Is that why there was bananas? Glory to Master Koga. So he died. He was... Oh no, we hadn't heard from them because we beat him up. Oh yeah. That was how that went down, wasn't it? An aerial cannon. So it's like, use the rocket to send it up there as a position, and then it works from there. Just exploring the depths gets us all the battery we need, doesn't it? Okay, so if I want to open these boxes, I don't really have that much of a good option anymore. But it's the light route we're going to. We've got our schematic. We've got some information. That there's a Colosseum underneath the Colosseum. That's a thing. I never would have known otherwise. Alright, so where's that light route I was trying to get to? That way. If I go there, get the light route, then we can resume grabbing our sky writings like we're supposed to be doing, correct? That is the goal. But every time I drop down, there's a... a Frox and a Yiga base. I haven't even thought of, like, trying to collect every schematic as a thing. Yeah. That seems a little bit heavy duty. I should totally do that Colosseum. I will do. Put that. Well, that's one piece, piece of gear that I now know literally where it is. Yeah. I'll take that any day. Oh, it's a new type of stone talus. I'm wondering if I'm going towards the right point at this moment. Because the light route should be right here. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it might be lower down. Pretty good traveler's sword. It's got long throw look. Wee! Yeah. It was. It's below me all the time. The Nikakik light route. <laughs> Not so much finding the X in the spot, but the X in the ground. Basically, we're just chasing a lot of Xs now. When you think about it. X is everywhere. Maybe at one point we'll actually have a joined up bit of light that joins up everywhere, but somehow I doubt it. Well, that's quite a bit of a big area to light up in the first place. Actually, it looks like there's something... There is, isn't there? There's something here. There's a mine. Well, not a mine, but one of the abandoned, like one of the small ones that usually has like a box of gear in it. Or a box of something else. I mean, you can even see the Drenna Canyon mine. It's always a mine. It's, that's what it's called. That might give us another piece of gear that isn't an X on the spot. Or just a large crystallized charge, which is not bad. Not bad by any extent, and you've got all that zonite if you wish to mine it out. But for the time being, let's return to the skies. Right, so where else do I put a star? Well, that star's stupid, because that star shouldn't be there. <laughs> That's, we've done all those riddles now, haven't we?
It's the sky I need to look at. This is the depth. So we're not far from that, I guess. And we just got that one, which led us down to depths itself. So we got a load in one area over here. An attack shrine might help me reach one. But if there's three quite close by, we can get lots of... Uh, lots of sky writings in one quick big bundle. 56 light roots. We're almost actually at halfway for light roots. Assuming, of course, that it's 120 shrines on ground, where it wasn't 120 shrines above, because uh, it's quite a lot of shrines above. Not that I've counted them up to see how many there are in a division. I'm also assuming the reason we went over 120 is because our play space gained massively. Not above me. Oh, it is above me. Well, that's a bummer. So how do I get up there then? Might be best from the mountain skyview tower. She can't get a light route that goes to the above grounds. I don't know. I haven't actually counted up how many shrines are above ground though. We still don't know the actual full extent. Wouldn't surprise me if there was just randomly a shrine underground just to go, ha ha! The real question is, is this a high enough boost to be able to reach the island? It's not! Okay, turns out I need some kind of flying vehicle to reach there. I guess we just make a flying vehicle and we use it to reach absolutely everywhere, correct? Must be a different way, surely. I mean, it's disconnected from everything else. There's the launch up platform on the place we've got to, but it doesn't actually launch you that far. No, you definitely need some added impetus. There must be something in the area that allows you to do it. Let's just use the super cheat wagon. The Shrine Underground will be called the B.S. Shrine, yeah. <laughs> I wonder why there's so many of these things in one little... ...cluster. Not that I'm really complaining, because the quicker we get them, the better for our quest. Our last side adventure that we currently know exists. The annoying thing is with this vehicle, right? I have to land it on the platform. Oh, it's not a breaker. That's probably going to be pretty good for us, then. I'm wondering if there's a way to... ...tell which of these pictures is which place. I did go into the album, and they do, they do have locational markers. This is it says Sokala Sky Archipelago. So as long as I don't get, like, a double... ...I should be good. But if I get a double, that could be pretty bad. But at the moment, it's not looking terrible. So next one is a fair whack away. Seems that I don't do too well getting up with the uh, the vehicle. We should gain, like, fairly strong speed to make it over to the next area. It does make you wonder if warping would be a lot more advantageous to us. Like, that one looks like it can be reached just from shooting ourselves into the sky. But we should be at a point in height currently where... Oh, we could come down from here, to be honest, and glide. Don't need the vehicle for this. There's our target. Question is, will the battery last long enough? 
We did get a... I guess a hat for that. Right? The actual flight approved hat now. Do I have any lives that I charge? Oh yeah, no, of course I do. But I kind of don't want to use it as well. I'm wondering if I am... I, I didn't put on the hat. I did it on purpose, don't we? I'm wondering if I'm high enough to just... Abandon ship and fly the rest of the way. Especially because even if I miss, it's totally... You could just warp from that place over there. This one isn't like the other one where we had to have a vehicle to get there. Actually, kind of a big mistake for me to even take a vehicle. Hopefully, I've killed no one. Oh, shoot. It was right above a stable. Never mind. I probably have. But we find they have no clue of knowing it's me apart from the fact that I'm the only one who's invented that in this land. And the only one who would be going around the sky. Or, uh, Beetle's dead now. Should have gave me better prices then. He's just down there going, ha, 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 ah! <laughs> That's what he's doing. <laughs> why is there a flying glee up? I remember you. I don't know why you exist. Surely if someone knocks you out of the sky, you're dead. You're done. Something tells me this is a fooler. No, it's not. Oh my god, do I try and drive by this Gleok? Slightly wondering at this point in time. <laughs> South Elden Sky Archipelago. We're supposed to stay on target for the sky writings. But there's a small amount of curiosity. About what happens to a fire Gleok that's that high in the sky. Plus me attacking it. <laughs> it's just mining its own business. Gleoking about. And then all of a sudden this guy comes skydiving. Da -da 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 oh shoot, come back. Come back, you're flying away. You're not supposed to do that. Come back. Gleok. Come back, I'm trying to kill you. No, no it's me. Who will win? I'm coming too! Wee! We flying together! We're buddies! We're so buddies! Super buddies! Oh my god, you're faster than me! That didn't even kill you! I call bullcrap on that. Oh, that doesn't even do any good damage. Well, at least we got cool music. I need to fuse something up by the look of it. Dylan, you kind of wrecked that a little bit. Am I hitting its wing? That's... That's bull crap. Stop flapping your wings. I can't stand up. I'm making it very hot around here. Doing that. Go down here. Oh, that didn't hit it on for a critical. Okay. What, he landed on the rock. Get him, guys. Ah, 
Damn it! <laughs> Why won't you let me do a jump? No. <laughs> I need these rocks. They're my friends. They help me pin you down. That stupid thing. Did you use that then? Master Sword, go! Just blasted me up the mountain. Now this guy's going all the way up there. He's gonna cast a meteor on me. Get down here. Or I'll use one of these eyeballs. Ah, oh, I didn't get him. Okay, uh... I'll just run, like, roughly this direction. It'll be fine. I'll be totally safe. All right, it's only a giant meter ball, guys. Guys, guys, guys. I need to worry about it. It's missed me by quite a large margin. Well, you can't fire one up as well. That's just... Oh, I don't even have the energy. I ran too much before I went up. He's trying to close his eyes so he didn't get hit. <laughs> Just doing drive-bys on normal monsters now. Why am I doing this? It's terrible. He was having a nice time flying around the sky and there's just like, no. Did you, did you pay to be here? Like, no, it's the free sky. No, I'm the local community police. I don't know. I'm here to be a busybody. Get out of my sky. What are you doing enjoying yourself? Not on my time. Back to the sky ridings then. Uh, uh, stop that! Do you have any rockets to give me? Gonna need a little bit more. Another irreplaceable ancient beast extinct. Well, you know, not until the next blood moon comes. <laughs> Be nice if Zelda didn't just think like, she's not being paid enough and quit the job though of talking during it. Link, you've taken too much time. I can't be bothered to do the cutscene anymore. There it is, it's lower than me, nice. To be fair, she was having a stand-in do the work in the first place, so I hope Zelda didn't get paid. Link, you don't understand. This is a monopoly by the royal family. The world is threatened. Once again. Boom. Quick, quick, quick. I'm sure you could to- I'm go go- I'm going down with it. Like, you could totally translate that, except you're missing quite a lot of the writing. I mean, we brought it to the below ground, so... I don't think anyone could complain. Now it's, like, readable by people. I've already done this one. Uh-oh. Do these re- Do these reset in the sky after you've got them? That's a good question, actually. And they were a great spring. But they all look different at the moment still. Nope, it is different. There's a Korok here. Supposedly. The where is a bit more of a question. Oh, found it. <laughs> 
Shouldn't be using a Demon King's bow to unlock a core outfit. Okay, so another sky writing down. Take that off the list, which leaves us with two. We're going into the Gerudo sky by the look of things next. And the question is, which one of these is high enough to reach where we need to be? This looks nearest. The Gerudo sky is going to be interesting, though. Because there's that island way off that I kind of want to hit as well, you know what I mean? I could probably drop down these stables as well and do, like, the picture quests. Wouldn't have been a bad idea, would it? Even have a charge in you. It's me going in my head like, have I been here really recently? I thought they would respawn every time I get a blood moon. That's a little bit, uh... Lower down than I would have expected it to be, now that I look at it. I need to be a little higher up, so I think it's best for me to use this to get there. That'll give me the height I need to definitely make the, gli the glide, right? Yeah, I couldn't have made it from where I was just jump from jumping off the top of that tree. No way. 